Hey, what's up, everybody? Doing the uh, live Q and A here uh, on the computer, which is kind of weird because if I look down at the at myself on the screen, it's like I'm looking somewhere else. So I'm gonna try to stare at the camera. Uh, probably go cross-eyed in a second here. But I, uh, what I want to do is um, just like uh, normal, do a Q and A, and I'll start off with a couple of questions uh, that I've received um, here and there, and just kind of answer those and give people time to ask questions in the comments. So if you have any questions, uh, just comment them and I'm happy to answer. Um, but I'm going to answer two questions uh, to start off and, and give people time to um, ask questions. And if you see this later, uh, feel free to comment them and I'll answer uh, in the comments as well. So the first one um, is how to get rid of belly fat. So I would say this is something, I, this is a question I get pretty commonly. You know, somebody will, it comes in different forms. Uh, you know, how do I tone my stomach? How do I target belly fat? How do I get rid of my gut? You know, and, and that, those are the kind of questions uh, that are, that's one of the most common questions I get. Um, the answer to it is you can't really target anywhere uh, for body fat. You know, you can't, but what happens is like when you, when you're in a caloric deficit, which just means you're, you're burning more calories than you're consuming, um, you're losing body fat, right? And so when you're losing the body fat, you can't really control where you're going to lose that. Everybody, um, everybody loses it uh, kind of at different rates at different parts of their bodies. Um, I would say there are a good bit of the majority of men tend to kind of like lose the belly fat and like lower back fat last. Unfortunately, the majority of women, um, a lot of times it's 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 there or it's like in the hips. Um, a lot of times those are those are the most common, but everybody's different. I mean. You know, sometimes you'll see somebody who's really skinny um, everywhere else, but they have a big belly, whatever it is. Um, but you can't just you can't just say like, you know, some people think, oh, if I just do a bunch of sit ups or ab work or something, I'm targeting my belly fat. That's just not the case. Like, it's not how it works. Um, you have to go into a caloric deficit there. That's a whole different topic. Um, I've talked about it before. I'll talk about it again. But basically, that's just again, like like I said, burning more calories than you consume, um, however that looks for you. And when you're doing that, you're going to lose the fat and you can um, basically like you're going to lose it in the stomach just when it happens. You just have to be consistent with the deficit. What you can do, though, is you can build some muscle in in the abdominal section. Right. Like um, and what happens. So let's just say that, like, you're just in a caloric deficit. You're not doing any um, any consistent workouts that target that area at all. Like, let's say that, like, <clears throat> let's say that here's kind of where you want your stomach to be. Here's kind of how. Um, like where it is right now, if you're doing nothing, you know, workout wise, you're just in a caloric deficit. As you lose that body fat, you're going to like your, your body fat is just going to keep going down, down, down until you get kind of that flat stomach. If you are doing some core training though, um, you can actually build those ab muscles out a little bit so that it's a little bit more of a meat in the middle. It's not really going to be the middle. You're still going to have, depending on how much uh, body fat you have to lose, um, but it's going to be, you know, it, it, you will start to notice it a little more quickly um, if you are targeting your stomach. I just posted um, something yesterday with, with some good ab workouts to do. Uh, go back and look at that little, uh, that, that little infographic I made just posted yesterday, and you'll see that that's um, just some things you can do to target that. If you're doing heavy squats, uh, heavy overhead presses, things like that, you're already working your, your abdominal muscle some. These are some things just to target it and kind of round it out and, and help you kind of like – um, have more of a, a balanced, um, you know, kind of complete looking uh, midsection by like kind of working on the, the obliques and things like that as well. Um, so that's how I'd answer that question. You can't lose body fat in a particular place by doing workouts there. You can stay in a caloric deficit to consistently lose body fat and you'll lose it there when it work, when it happens and you can do workouts to target whatever the area is in this, in this instance, the stomach to kind of like help it help you to be able to see some like musculature um, a little bit quicker. Uh, the second question I was gonna add, answer here: um, how to know how much weight to lift. So let's say this is another common one I get. Like when I take on new coaching clients, um, or people have just asked this. Maybe they come they they go to the gym for the first time or for the first time in a long time, or they've been going to the gym but they realize they haven't really been doing something that's uh, working for them. And they'll ask like, how do I know? You know, if I say, hey. You should probably be doing, you know, if, if I'm coaching them, I, I have their program written out, or if I'm just suggesting something to them, I'm saying, hey, you know, do, let's just say, three sets of squats for five reps each. Um, so if they go in there and they're doing, trying to do five reps, a lot of times what happens is they have no idea, like, where to start. They have no clue how many, 
how much weight they can do for five reps on squats. So the best thing that I recommend doing with that is go into the gym, start with just the bar. Um, if you if you don't have a coach or you don't have anybody to like show you proper form, watch a video. Um, message me if you wanna wanna see a link to a video of, of proper form on any workout, any exercise, and I'm happy to uh, provide you with a quality one. Um, so if you go in there and you 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 do that and you try to emulate that video. So watch the video. Try to emulate that with just the bar on your back. You know, don't try to add a bunch of weight. Just try to get like the basics of the form. You don't have to be perfect. Just try to get the basics of the form down. Then slowly start adding weight. Put five pounds on each side. Put 10 pounds on each side and do a set. You know what I mean? Like just keep going up slowly until you get to a place. Now this can serve, this serves as your warm up as well. This is still how I warm up. Uh, just keep doing that until you get to a point where that fifth rep is difficult. So let's say, um, you know, just kind of an average, uh, let's say a woman goes in, she doesn't know um, what her weight is on squats. She puts the bar on her back. The bar feels pretty easy. She adds 10 pounds to each side, squats five, still very easy. She adds five more pounds to each side, squats five, still very easy, and just keeps doing that until she gets to a certain weight. So now let's say she puts a 25 on each side, that e that's a 95 pound squat, she goes for that, and that fifth rep is really difficult. Like, she she's <clears throat> she gets she can get it, and she can get it for all three sets of five. So once she does that, once she hits that fifth rep, it, it's pretty difficult, or maybe just under that. Then do two more sets of that, and those are your your three sets. And then write that down. And the next time you go in, you know, okay, I did 95 pounds. I'm going to try to shoot and beat that, and I'm going to try to do 100 pounds or 105 pounds uh, this time. You know what I mean? So that's that's how you do it. You just go in there slowly work up that does two things it gives you time to well three things really it gives you time to warm up gives you time to learn the form of the exercise and it gives you time to find the weight um, that you're going to be comfortable with but challenged by you know what i mean not not too extreme but also not something that's not going to do anything you want to find that that's the sweet spot is when you're you're getting to the point where that fifth rep is a little difficult and it might not be super difficult at first um, but if you're doing it right um, it's going to start to that, that difficulty level is going to start to um, to increase <laughs> pretty quickly within the first uh, first month of doing this. So, okay, um, those are the two questions uh, that I was going to, to answer. Does anybody have any other questions that they'd like me to answer here? Um, they can be fitness questions. They can be Star Wars questions if you want. Whatever you want to ask. All right. I'm going to shut this down, but if you see this later um, and have any questions, feel free to comment them and I will be happy to answer. Happy Wednesday.